Hey, what's up guys? So I was kind of reluctant to make this video since I know a certain amount of Arturia fans are promptly going to be sharpening their pitchforks and they're going to squarely aim them at my ass, but hear me out. I played with the Micro Freak at NAMM 2019 and it sounded freaking awesome. But there was just this one thing, the keys or the lack of keys. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Are you blind noir? It has keys. Yes, I know it has keys, but keys that don't freaking go anywhere. And what I mean is there's no travel distance on that keyboard. Unfortunately, my impressions of what to expect from the Microfree came from way before I actually had some hands-on time with it. So y'all know the Microfree was announced prior to NAMM 2019. So I had the opportunity to salivate over the new synth from Arturia, even though for the first year of this channel, I made subtle jokes about the Mini Brute. With all that being said, I give the Moog Sub 37 my final score of trade in your crappy Arturi Mini Brutes for this now Sorry. All that said, I was genuinely excited to see Arturia really push the envelope with the Microfree. Uh, from the digital algorithms to the sick looking touch interface and the gold accents, this was like a synth I could totally get behind. So I show up at NAMM and literally the first place I go was the Arturia booth. And they, they're basically in the same place every year. And I got my camera out and there's a Micro Freak presentation going on. It was just about to start. And I'm recording it and I'm like, this thing sounds so sick. Let's, uh, let's listen to it with some like clean sound like VA. So, so this is the net non-resonant filter. Uh, the guy absolutely knew what he was doing, so I was getting even more excited since he was experienced with it. So I still have yet to get my hands on it, and once he finishes up, I'm over to the Micro Freak, and I turn on the camera, and I put on the lab, and I'm ready to hit that key, and then boom, it's like slamming into a fucking brick wall. <laughs> it's obviously being a little extreme, but the key bed, or whatever they decided to call it, was like not what I expected. So in terms of the I don't even know what this is called. It's pretty cool. As a keyboardist, a piano player, looking forward to playing fast on the Micro Freak was really what I was looking forward to. And trust me, this was not just the case of the typical mini keys. This was a whole other thing. And I know there's certain keyboard players out there who will agree with me. I know what you're saying. Ooh, just use an external keyboard, stupid. But that's not the point, uh, to me at least. This would have been my perfect synth. It's super functional. It sounds absolutely fantastic. It's light, it's well-built, and it's such a departure from what's out there in the synth market. But I just can't get on with those keys. Anyways, guys, tell me in the comments what you guys think. Does the no key interface of the Micro Freak bother you? Are you a player who is really looking forward to a more traditional interface so you could play it? Or does it really not bother you at all? You're just happy to see Arturia step out of the box, kind of like I am. Anyways, I look forward to what you guys think because heck, I could totally be wrong about this. Remember to like, subscribe, check out the full podcast over on Patreon. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.